Jen from Fit Bottomed Girls for the next installment of the FBG Anti-Diet video series. Last week, Erin took you through how to say no, how to say no to people pushing your food on you that you don't want to eat, people uh, pressuring you to do things you don't want to do, um, and just generally uh, a really easy way of how to use the magic of the power no. And today, I'm going to dive into chapter five, which is all about focusing on the positive. So chapter five is really one of my favorite chapters. I know I keep saying that, but it really, really, really is because positive thinking is something that I'm really passionate about and I know that it works because when you start to pay attention to the thoughts in your head and you start consciously tweaking them so that you are focusing on the good and not the bad in your life, you actually draw more good experiences to you because you're more grateful for what you already have. And let's be honest, we all have a lot of things to be grateful for. If you have a copy of the book, on page 120, there is actually a fabulous section that might be like really my favorite piece of the entire book, which is about how repeated thoughts that you have can actually turn into emotions and then turn into behaviors and then turn into either healthy or unhealthy habits. So the idea is that your thoughts are really kind of the starting block to a lot of things in your life. So when you start paying attention to them and you start being conscious about them, you can start to feel a lot better. And that's what this 10 minute fix is all about. It's about starting your day in a positive way and it's about creating a feel good morning ritual. If you have a copy of your book, if not, pick one up wherever books are sold. Um, I'm reading from page 132, number three, create a feel good morning ritual. Some people jump out of bed in the morning, ready to take on the day, even if it means getting out of bed before 6 a.m. for workouts, which admittedly is kind of like me. Um, others are not morning people and hit the snooze button about a million times before dragging themselves out of bed and or avoid social interactions for at least 30 minutes while they wake up, which that might be a little bit more like Erin. <laughs> if the latter sounds more like you, we've got a morning feel-good ritual that will help ease you into the AM, okay? First, when you wake up, avoid hitting the snooze button, okay? You have 10 minutes to do this fix, so that's not really something you can do. <laughs> snooze would totally blow it. Okay, while you're laying down, stretch your body lengthwise as long and as tall, as tall as you can. So you're gonna put your arms up above your head and stretch all the way down to your feet. Take a full minute for this stretch. Wiggle your fingers and your toes, flex and point your feet, and you wanna just breathe nice and deeply the whole time. Okay, one full minute here. Then once you're done there, you just wanna sit up. Remember you're waking up, so just waking up for the day. Sit up, and with your legs comfortably crossed, stretch your arms high above your hand, head, and with your hands clasped, lean to the side as you breathe in and out. Okay, obviously you wouldn't have the book on your hand for this, so you would clasp your hands at the top. Um, you should feel an awesome stretch throughout your sides. Okay, so you do both sides. Then, still setting, you're gonna lift your arms up to your side, your palms facing forward. Move your arms back as you slightly arch your back and bring your shoulder blades together. Then you reverse this move as you round your back forward. So again, we're just kind of opening up the chest and the shoulders and the back. Then with the soles of your feet together and your knees out, lean over your feet to stretch your inner thighs for a moment. Next, you're gonna put your feet straight out in front of you for a hamstring stretch. Then just kind of lean over, hang out there. While you're stretching yourself, you really wanna focus on getting into a positive mindset and set a healthy intention for the day. You should be energized enough to open the shades to let in natural light or flip on that light switch and face the day. You may never learn to love mornings, but at least this will make them just a little bit more enjoyable. Plus, you can feel really good that you've already done something to start your day off right before you even got out of bed. Flexibility work, something we all seem to have trouble fitting in, I know I do. <laughs> now go get yourself a cup of coffee or tea if you're awake enough to really enjoy it. So if you like this fix, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, yay, so you don't miss another one. Next week, Erin will be going over chapter six. And also be sure to follow us on Twitter, and then we would love to know how your feel-good morning ritual is going and how it's changed your day for the better and the healthier and the more positive. So be sure to tweet at us, Instagram us, wherever, all the social media sites. Use the hashtag FBGAntiDiet. And we're pretty much at Fit Bottom Girl everywhere. Um, and let us know how it's going. We want to hear from you. want to hear how it's going. And, um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys all have an awesome 
positive day.